Hello everyone, welcome back to Endless Edge. It has been quite a while. We are here in front of Apollo's Labyrinth. We've done this labyrinth before. The reason that I start here is that this would be the easiest point that you recognize on the way to the beast. So now you want to know where you want to first start out at. Where you want to go from here is to head up on this path right here. is somewhere around here. I came here like two or three months ago to find the beast and uh, take a look at it, but I don't quite remember where it is now, but I know it's around here somewhere. Apparently that house isn't finished or something. She can't go through the door. Ah yes, it's across this bridge. And there are monsters here, you probably want to be careful of that. These are the same, same type of monsters that you find in the swamp. Fortunately, it looks like they don't particularly hit as bad as they once did. Or maybe these are just weaker in this area than at the swamp. I'm not sure. Unless they change the way stats are or something, I don't know. I'm fairly sure the beast is this way. Let's go ahead and ask. Just to make sure. Yep, yeah it is. Let's see if I can get three here. That's some nice stuff. I always wanted a pair of wings, but I never just don't want to take the time of waiting for 12 hours for a spot to get one. Pretty sure it's just along its path. It's just a uh, go straight to sip pool. Pole or whatever you want to pronounce it. Yeah, I'll do that once I can get out of this area. Unfortunately, you're blocking the uh, road here and making it pretty much impossible for me to get through here. Because you're causing. Okay, there we go. You're causing all the monsters to go through the bridge, so there's no way of getting me crossed, really. Yeah, they don't do that much, but they hit a lot. Like, I don't mean they hit a lot damage-wise, but they hit multiple times very quickly. Alright, north of town of Sepol. I believe the beast is here. I think that guy said it was here as well. This is a new area, as far as I know. Those must be some strong enemies. Doing 40 damage to each time without fire, and not even really doing a dent into their health. Alright, we're here. Yeah, there's a path off that way, but I don't know where that heads. Please cooperate with the Royal Guard. Huh. He died next to food. Okay. Well, he obviously didn't starve then. Need a key to open this door. Skeleton key. Ooh, there's a little ship in the water, too. Yeah, here's one of the Royal Guards. Okay. 
Okay. He told me to check back in a couple of days because they might need my assistance. Oh, hi. Um. I don't particularly have time to help you right now. Oh, you're heading to the maze too, huh? Well, I kind of want to do the maze by myself. I don't really want to have someone else with me for this recording. I don't want to be slowed down or rushed through it. I want to take my time with it. I don't know if there's any other new areas to Endless Edge besides this one in the last couple of months, because I haven't really been here that much since Halloween. Who are you? Why are you messaging me? Tina Man. Uh, why does my level matter? Oh yeah, you have to be level 15 to get in here. I'm level 17, so... Um, it's a maze. It's not like I'm gonna fight in here, right? Pretty sure I'm not. Oh, I didn't mean to. I stood too close to the entrance and got double board through. I didn't mean to do that. Oh well, here's the Beastmaster. Let's talk to him. Oh, and you can't be removed from this maze, apparently, if you get lost in here. I don't know how much truth there is to that, but you could... If it's really that hardcore, you could possibly lose a character in here if you get trapped. Yeah, I'm gonna go. What, do I just go on or something? I don't know. Are you like trying to freak me out or something? This is just a simple maze, it looks like, for the first part. Um... I'm not sure exactly the way through here and it's pretty silent right now what happened to the music the music is gone and noticed it until now man this thing stretches on for quite a while oh come on did I go the wrong way Here we go, I think this is the way. Fairly sure. I see bits of other areas of the maze, it looks like. I wonder how big this area is. It must be pretty big. Ok, 
Okay, another dead end. Great. Just what we need, more dead ends. So we don't have enough of those already. Hmm. Alright, it looks like we made it. That was the first area, and I heard a little, uh, heard a little beep there. I Meaning I got through it, I believe. Yep, it's number two now. Tricky switch, or whatever it was. Okay, good, these aren't going to teleport me. I like it how it gives you this much time to turn back. Okay, I already know the trick to this one is that there are certain patches of dirt here that um, you have to step on in a certain order. And if you do that, it'll let you go through. I don't remember what order the, dirt's, the dirt is, though. Pretty sure it'll just teleport you back through if you try and go through. Yeah, see? So you have to try and figure out... Is it this one? Yeah, that's the first switch. Okay. Where is the second one? Thankfully, it doesn't reset if you step on the wrong switch. You just have to find them in order. Is there like one behind a tree or something? I'm not sure exactly. Okay, there's a second one. Um, huh. Okay, there's nothing hidden here, it looks like. No hidden patches of dirt over here. I thought I got them all. Did I miss one? Did I not go over one somewhere? Maybe I did miss one somewhere. Not that one. Is there one over here? No. Those are only tree branches or whatever. Bushes. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's been standing there the whole time. Alright, that's three switches. We can go now. Alright, this is the third area, I believe. This one's fairly simple. Although it wouldn't seem very simple when you first walk in here. I wonder if you could actually get a marriage going here. I wonder if anybody's tried that. 
Uh, what you want to do is you want to go over to the seat here and just sit here for like 10 seconds. And it'll automatically teleport you. It's similar to the Dream World teleport. If you remember that from way back. Where it's in that one house and you have to sit on that bed for like 10 seconds and it'll teleport you to the Dream World. And there we go. Alright. Which way exactly? There's invisible walls here. Not too tif difficultly terrible. What I really hate are the, these types of mazes that teleport you back. When it's just invisible walls, it's actually fairly simple to get through. Okay, still have to head through. It's way back here. Alright. Now you just have to go around this corner and all the way up. There we go. And a little beep. Alright. Um, I think... Okay. I think I got this. I think I do anyways. I don't even know what would happen if you went the wrong way on here. It might teleport you back. Or maybe not. It just looks like a bunch of dead ends. Okay, this is the spot. Isn't it? I, th I think it's... Yeah, I think it's this one. There's a certain spot you have to go to and it'll teleport you, but I think... Let me go ahead and try this. Yeah, this was the right one, I think. Yeah, it was. Alright, we've seen these types before. Whoops, didn't mean for that to happen. It's just like teleporting me. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was easier than I thought. Basically, all you want to do is get to the middle area. And just keep on heading down. Alright, let's see here. Um, I think if you go the wrong way here, it'll teleport you back to the beginning. I think. Actually, I'm pretty sure it does, because this is a way too open area for there not to be teleporting back. Either that, or there's invisible walls. I'm actually interested in the prize at, when I get to the end of this. It's supposed to be either a costume or experience. 
and I'm interested in seeing the costume. All right, there we go. Another little beep. Now I believe there is invisible walls here somewhere. Or actually, I mean walls you can go through. There might be invisible walls as well. That's a handy little thing you can use to find out your location on the map. It's um it's a little number symbol and then LOC. I'm probably gonna have to use it quite a bit later on here. There is an, a, a go throughable. Oh, there it is. Okay. Here we go. That was easy. Seems like it's throwing me a lot of softballs so far. Nothing too terribly difficult. From everything I've been told, this is supposed to be an extremely difficult maze. All right. I wonder if that other person ever got in here. Or maybe they decide not to come. I don't know. Sent her a message from her sense. And another beep. top of the hour. Alright, I think this is the next spot. The next little thing we have to go through. Teleports!